Get ready to relax on a new line of American cruise ships, and you can pack your Bay Pride too. Knowing all 12 will be built in Salisbury at Chesapeake Shipbuilding. What we're going to look at is on the underside right now, they're welding and gouging the steel plates. Steve McGee, the president of Chesapeake Shipbuilding, showed us around the yard what started in 1980 with building about one ship every two to three years has grown. Now we're on track to deliver three cruise ships per year every year going forward. We're in underneath the tunnels for the stern of a cruise ship. This is a larger riverboat for American Cruise Lines, which currently operates 15 ships that cruise to more than 31 states. The just announced Project Blue ships will soon fill these production buildings where we got a close look at the welding work and how they're put together. So you can see the cutouts for where holes for pipes and where electrical runs. Some of the piping has already been um, put in place for this part of the module. So think of it like the ribs in your body. The skin of the hull will end up getting welded to that side shell. Project Blue is trying to meet the request of the cruise line's clientele. People have been asking for a smaller and more intimate venue. The smaller ships will carry about 110 passengers and 50 crew members, and they can get into places the bigger vessels can't access. The intercoastal waterway along the Atlantic coast, for instance, uh, these boats will be stable enough to run uh, off of New England all the way down to Florida. We can actually put them on the West Coast. The announcement of the new fleet also means more job opportunities. Chesapeake Shipbuilding is looking to about double its staff, especially in the trades like welding, pipe fitting and electrical work. Larry Wise is a welding foreman with more than 12 years at Chesapeake Shipbuilding. Now this is our weld booth here where we, you know, potential candidates or where we do training. We watched him seal together two steel plates as skill needed on every deck of the cruise ship. His work leads to someone else's Other vacation. Mentions. Other people get the pleasure of what we're doing for a living. Um, you know, just, just like a teacher, you know, loves to teach kids, you know, same concept with us. The employees log eight hour workdays outside through the extreme weather conditions we visited when it was about 20 degrees. A lot of these guys to do behind me um, at one point were carpenters and then they've learned how to weld and apply those carpenter skills into working in steel. They also make the ramps needed to splash the boats. Watch this one ship. 1,300 tons hit the water for the first time. The first two Project Blue ships will be ready for delivery next year with added cruising itineraries. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.